Do you need a Julie build with near infinite stamina? as well as incredible speed clears and the ability to run almost nearly forever, well the multi-class build that allows for so much diversity, as well as near perfect attributes and stat allocation with extensive testing, then I got the build for you. What's up world stripper, back here with the checking out all things Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Okay, but before we actually jump into the build itself, if you enjoy the unique freedom that this game offers with builds and combat, then you'll definitely like today's sponsor. Bloodline Heroes of Lithus is an immensely strategic and fun fantasy RPG hero collector. And after playing through this game thoroughly, I just realized how much depth this game actually has. Whether it's building your kingdom or collecting unique legendary champions, by combining bloodlines of elves, demons, demigogs, orcs, dwarves, lycans, dragonborn, and even vampires. Did I mention the game is completely free? You can download using my link down below or by scanning the QR code on the screen. And they even go as far as adding marriages which can lead to bloodlines and creating 4000 fantasy hybrid with each having unique abilities. And on top of everything else the visuals are just stunning whether it's on your mobile phone or even smart pad with tons of different challenges to participate in with guild wars events and even battles in the arena where you can fully customize and strategize all your builds with your champion. They're also introducing a new bloodline called Tide Razors. And these guys are demigods who are extremely powerful and originated from some of the darkest seas. And if you haven't seen the vampires in this game, you sure need to check them out. They are ruthless assassins who rose alongside the dark elves after the destruction of their homeland, and their backstory and lore around the ritual that cursed them has some of the coolest in-depth storytelling I've seen. And just to give you even more backstory on some of the champions that you can collect within this game, we have the Lion Stone, which is one of the tank champions. And they also just introduced a brand new skin for her, and she is insanely potent on the battlefield. So if you haven't already, be sure to check out Bloodlines Heroes of Lithus. And the download is completely free, which you can do by either clicking the link down below or scanning the QR code on the screen. Additionally, the first 30 people to comment under my pinned comment with their account ID and username will receive a free legendary female succubus champion, the Luxuriant. And she is by far one of the best mages in the game that will absolutely help your team comp. Thank you again to our sponsor, Bloodline Heroes of Lithus. Okay, so let's get right back to it, and let's just jump into the skill tree. We're going to go into the loadout stuff, we're going to go to the characters, and we're also going to go into why I take certain things. We'll kind of go over the skill tree somewhat quickly, but I am going to go over exactly what the root entails. Now, I know I, I had a ton of comments from the last video, and I do want to thank those extensively. I've taken multiple different angles from it. I've used multiple different comments in combination with a lot of help here, so I'm going to feature those comments now. Thank you guys so much. For actually helping with those comments i really do appreciate it so let's jump right into the actual skill tree itself and let's go in through all the different details here so we'll come here and grab fight and flight and then we'll jump up through here we'll grab all these perk points here we'll grab choose flight next we are going to go and make the slight change here we're not going to take tougher stuff we are going to go right and grab highly skilled we'll come up through here we'll grab cover charge as well as the random perk here coming up through into bomb squad as well down below and grabbing those two attribute points there we'll come up here into our left and then we'll grab slippery the four perk or the four attribute points before that we'll grab light on your feet then we're going to make another left up through here and we are going to grab overlooked now i am scrolled out as far as i can i know i had a couple uh people wanted me to scroll out as far as you can on the skill tree this is actually as far as i can scroll out so i'll just go through here slowly so you can kind of see the pathing there that we do with that it's a little bit more complex than last time now you can save on a few random perk points here or even perk points in general we're never going to grab cover recovery i found that it's just not good it doesn't really work the stealth mechanic unless they fixed it with this patch although i haven't really noticed it but with my last testing the stealth mechanic didn't work with the spots very well or there wasn't very many at least so i don't recommend that one we also don't need sneaky pete here so we're not going to take that one we can skip out on that there are a few other things now my recommendation for the respec if you are constantly respecing trying to get perk points because we do actually need a random perk here which is empowered the rest of this stuff is not randomized that we're going to be using for the actual build but we actually do need this one it's also nice to have things like agitator or even the well dropper we have agitator here the well dropper one the stunt double i found just wasn't utilized as much it the damage that you took from well dropping just wasn't as much as i'd originally thought but in any case when you are grabbing these random perks what i do recommend is if you are resetting your skill tree only grab this first perk point here when you're doing it so immediately come to wherever random 
perk point you can grab and make sure whatever whatever randomized perk that you do want only get it on this one right so you're not you don't have to waste your time going through the entire tree and then grabbing the random perks you should do this at the start so if you want a random perk make sure you do this on the first one and so that's what i did here is kind of just spam the randomizer here or kind of spam the respec here until i got empowered on this first one that is my recommendation for that so you're not wasting a lot of time going through the entire tree and trying to get it on the random perk there although you're free to do either way now, as I said, this does allow for both complexities with the build. However, let's get into the actual ultimate escape here, which is the big one people have always kind of had confusions on, thinking that these stack, and they don't. That's been proven several times that they don't stack. So my recommendation here is if you are already level 2 here, and you've come to this guide and you're level 2 or you're level 3, do exactly what I did here, which you go decrease sprint, and then we'll go up to the right here. We'll get the ability last 15 seconds, and then we're going to come up back to the left here, and we're going to grab that 100% course we can't just do that opposite way so we're going to do it this way and the reason why is we again we can't come across here and grab 100 percent we do want the 100 percent one it's really really good or at least it sounds really op especially for 15 seconds of that 20 seconds is nice but this sounds better and yeah it does kind of suck that we can't get the quick recharge rate however it doesn't seem like it's going to be that good overall coming over to this side here if you are level one you're probably better off taking increased duration, which will give you that 10 seconds and might not have as much. I think it might be 25% here on the stamina consumption reduction, but at least you'll get 10 seconds of it. So you might be better off coming to increased duration for level one players. And then when you do respec and hit level two, just do what this did and then come up here into the level three. We'll grab that middle tree there. Coming over here for our little talent points, our perks here. This is what I have and I have taken, but we can multi-class this and multi-build this. And so we are going in here to choose flight. Then we are going to take slippery for our second perk. And then for our third perk, we'll grab empowered, which I do find to be pretty well. Again, thank you to the recommendation in the comments. It actually is pretty decent and that's a lot better than well dropper. This is a pretty good one here. So I would take empowered. I always thought close encountered meant that you had to actually attack the enemy, but instead it actually is just when you're close to them or or they attack you or they attack you or take damage you will actually get this to proc so that's a pretty good perk point there also overlooked is a really really good one again this is a guaranteed one that we can take a really really good one however it is kind of like edge cases with certain scenarios so i didn't like it you don't get it off the bat this is only when grandpa son or grandpa sonar is active so that's kind of an edge case there agitator is another good one i heard from the comments it actually is pretty decent and this does help reduce the grandpa levels which is super super nice and can get really bad late game however for me i kind of found that these are in my opinion kind of like the best three takes there i do think that it's kind of hard to get rid of choose flight you can get rid of slippery again so you could also go into something there there's a few different perks that you could take like i said this is a multi build here where you can actually switch these out because you have so many uh endurances here that it's just you're honestly going to be running forever and realistically you probably could get rid of choose flight and just keep slippery because slippery is kind of nice having that move speed increased the problem is not having the stamina but it's also about increasing your move speed as you don't want the enemies to catch you quite frequently so you do need to have that sort of speed there with the actual slippery now as we come down here i've essentially perfected this at this point or at least well there's been a ton of people that have done the stat points here but i've done a bunch of testing as there was a lot of comments i had down below people were taking 40 proficiency people were taking 41 people were taking 42 i saw a bunch of stuff in the discord about it people didn't understand if it was 41 42 i have tested this rigorously now it is 41 that is the next proc point or the next rank up point. So you only need 41 in a category if you essentially want near the max. You'll notice there's a drastic difference between 40 and 41 in the actual stat points there for the attribution dis distribution there. And it's kind of insane. So what we'll do here is we are gonna take 41 stealth and 41 proficiency. That is gonna be perfect. It is a one button spam. You can get through anything, through traps, through lock picks. Now the only thing is if you are actually lock picking you will need to slow down a bit as that won't be able to kind of be a spam there you could try to maybe get this up to 50 and not take the stealth if you really wanted to do lock picking stuff and then you could also take highly skilled here for the proficiency if you wanted even more than that although i think this is bet the best in both cases is having 41 proficiency 41 stealth and then putting the rest of the two points wherever you want i threw mine into endurance you could throw it into toughness you could throw it into strength wherever you want there you have two points left over if you did want to do the kind of level 50 build with the proficiency there then i would take two out of the endurance i'd put two into proficiency and then i would take seven of the proficiency highly skilled which will give you 50 and so you have a 50 41 build and that's pretty good there you do have to level this one so it will take a little while that should about cover for the build overall if you guys like it like and subscribe and until the next one
Deuces.